Alama Salib bin Muhammad al Luhaydan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, was asked, Ma hukum meal a rajal ila zoja a thaniya wa abna'iha duni ula. He was asked, Hafidullah Ta'ala, what is the ruling regarding a man inclining towards one of his wives and and her children with the exception or the at the expense uh, of the his first wife? The Shaykh answered Hafidullah Ta'ala, he said, Binisbati le abna for Rajal Mas'ul an Adal fi Hakuk al Aulad, Mithla Hadith and Nu'man ibn Bashir, Aladi Kala lahu Nebiu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Adal, La Tushhiduni Tushhiduni ala Jur. Am binisbati lil Murati for Yajibu ala men. كانت له أكثر من واحدة أن يحسن المعاشرة وأن يعدل بينهن وأي وأي شخص إذا كان له أكثر من زوجة ثم لم يعدل بينهن جاء يوم القيامة وشقه مائل فضيحة معلنة لكل من رأه علم جريمته so in the first part of the answer, the Sheikh said, Half of Allah Ta'ala, he said, as far as the children, then a man is responsible for being just and with regards to the rights of his children. And this is like it came in the hadith of Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said to the, who, who the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to him, uh, be just, and I will not be a witness over oppression. And then the Sheikh said, and as for uh, regarding the woman, then is an obligation upon the person who has more than one wife to be uh, to be good, and you know to be good and. Um, in taking uh, taking care of his family and to be just between them. And any person that has more than one wife, then he is not just between them. He will be brought on the day of judgment or he will come on the day of judgment and he will be uh, one of his side, he will be leaning uh leaning to one side and his scandal will be uh, advertised to the people and everyone who sees him will know his crime then the sheikh said half of the law ta'ala fayanbaghi li azwaj an yahrasu ala husni mu'ashira wa yanbaghi li zawjat aidan an yahrasanna ala husni tab'al wa irda zawj وَإِكْرَامَهُ حَتَّى لَا يُغْتِرُ بِحُسْنِ كَرَمْ وَاحِدًا وَيَغْفِلْ عَنْ الْأُخْرَى يَنْبَغِي أَنْ يَكُونَ بَيْنَهُمَا جِدْوَ اجْتِهَادِ فِي تَأْلِيفِ فِي تَأْلِفِ وَالْقِيَامِ بِحَقِ الزَّوْجِ ثُمَّ إِنَّ الْمَرْأَةَ يَنْبَغِي أَنَّهَا حَتَّى وَلَوْ غَدِبَتْ عَلَى الزَّوْجِ uh, yanbaghi an tata'addab bil adab al-shari'a wa ala tukhriju min manzilihi illa bi'idnihi wa ala tukhriju ila ma yakrahu al-khuruj ilayh wa law kana mubahin wallahu musta'an so the sheikh said in the in the second part of the answer half of the law ta'ala he said so it is it is a necessity that husbands should strive their utmost to be uh, righteous with regards to taking care of their families. And it is also an obligation upon the wives as well to strive their utmost to be righteous 
uh, with regards to their husband's rights and trying to please their husband and to be respectful of him. So that way he will not uh, be inclined towards being generous and righteous to one of his wives and be uh, careless with regards to the other one. So it's an obligation that he, uh, that between all of them, that they strive their utmost to, uh, to make unity between their hearts and to meet the rights of the husband. Then also a woman, it is an obligation upon her so that uh, that she should not become angry with her husband and also that she should maintain uh, it is also a woman that if, if she becomes angry, if she becomes angry with her husband, uh, then it is upon her to be uh, respectful within the bounds of the Islamic mannerisms and not to leave his house without his permission and not to leave and do those things uh, to leave from the house uh, do, for any reason that is disliked, even if something is permissible. And then he said, and may Allah help us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was for myself. It was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything mistaken, any mistakes or any uh, thing that was said incorrectly was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad.